Sorry I've been gone for a bit. I've been, had a lot of work around the house. But I did find a little time to bang out an example of making a file system. One of my personal projects has been to use Raspberry Pis and sensors combined with the streamlined way Plan 9 works to collect data around the house and make it easily accessible. The Linux options too often rely on a ton of Python libraries or containers or overly complicated web interfaces. Poking around the source code, I came across one of the simpler file system implementations in GPSFS, uh, which just pulls data from a GPS device over a serial connection and lets you access it as files. And I tweaked it to do some rather simple synthetic files. Plan 9 works the way it does because everything is a file and there is one way to talk to files. And that's the 9 protocol, or 9P for short. Uh, it works so well that it is now included in Windows to allow it to communicate with the Windows subsystem for Linux. Uh, 9P gives some standard commands for attaching a file system, moving through directory trees, opening, reading, writing, removing files, and uh, dealing with some of the file metadata. And what I've implemented in this program is just the read function, uh, but that's enough to read a flat directory. Since I'm not reading data off some storage device, uh, I have to specify what is to be done with a read request that comes for each individual file. So, one of the entries here is just for every file gets a specific spot for which function. Uh, here I've listed the files I want to make for my fake file system along with uh, which function gets called and what permissions to give them. Uh, calling serve here uh, lets me map the standard 9p calls to my own functions. As you can see here only, I'm only using a few of the functions and even some of those are just placeholders. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. See the FS read here basically just sends everything to the read function on listed for the file. So this initializes the file system. It sets a root for the tree, uh, just sets it to whatever user started the program and then populates that directory with files. And the 9P libraries require threads, so I went ahead and made this multi-threaded, but only in the most simple sense. And I have it hard-coded to mount it to slash n. And I have it downloaded, so... And there it is, posted to serve. And here's all my files in slash n. I always get wacky ideas when doing mundane stuff. Uh, short term, I just want to have the sensors from a Raspberry Pi Sensat show up on my file server's files. Uh, but doing this made me wonder if I could make a virtual version of Jorge Luis Borges' story, The Library of Babel. It was about a sort of infinite library of books full of random text. The idea being that enough random text would also contain every book ever written and every book that will ever be written, including by random chance an index to where all those books can be found. And when searching to see what that would take, I found that it sort of has been done just on the web. So a link below to anyone interested in that. Um, also a link to this bit of code here for making a simple file server. And I hope you have fun with it.